Longtime TV talk show host Phil Donahue has died at the age of 88. Donahue was best known for hosting the Phil Donahue show, which had a 29 year run on the air. He was a staple of daytime television, winning nine daytime Emmy Awards for outstanding hosts throughout his career. His family said he died at his home surrounded by loved ones, including his wife of 44 years, Emmy winning actress Marlo Thomas. Dave Quinn joins us now. He's a senior news editor at People magazine. Dave, thanks for being here. Break down how spectacular of a career he had in TV. Well, thank you so much for having me, Lindsay. And yeah, he is uh, the gold standard for many of us in this industry. It's a sad day. You know, Phil began his show in the 1960s when the TV landscape was just soap operas and variety shows and game shows. And he sort of pioneered this idea of having these sorts of conversations with notable figures on controversial issues of our time. He had this natural curiosity, this intelligence and humor and Midwestern charm that sort of made him instantly likable by audiences. And so many of the talk shows that I grew up with throughout my time in the 90s, like The Oprah Winfrey Show and Ricky Lake, they were all influenced by Phil. They've all said they wouldn't have done it if it wasn't for him. You, you just touched on it, but how would you describe his legacy in daytime television? What was he doing that was different then? And you mentioned some shows, but what, what, what of what he was doing, his formula, is still a part of the daytime fabric today? Yeah, you know, what Phil did that was so interesting is that he never shied away from talking about the things that Americans were too shy to often have those conversations themselves. He would gather people together, for example, um, when the AIDS crisis was in the early days of it, he was the first TV host to feature a person living with AIDS, um, having them on their show talking about the issues. When Bill Clinton was running for president in uh, 1992, he had both Bill and George H.W. Bush on his show. And instead of moderating a debate, he sort of let them speak to one another so viewers could sort of watch them articulate their differences. These are the sort of things that Phil was known for. He introduced the idea of callers calling into his show and asking questions together. It felt as mm -hmm. though everybody was a part of it. And you can see his... Um, his blueprint throughout all of talks today, uh, including shows even like Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen, um, the Kelly Clarkson show. These are sort of modeling the the uh, blueprint, as I said, that Phil set forward. Dave Quinn talking about the illustrious career and legacy of Phil Donahue, who passed away at the age of 88. Thank you. Thank you so much.